Hi, and welcome to another Advent preparation on Fully Catholic Radio. The Eucharist is described as being the source and the summit of the Christian faith. The source and the summit of the Christian faith. The Catholic Church teaches that the Eucharist is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Jesus Christ is the mighty healer. Jesus Christ is the mighty deliverer. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is God. Growing up as a child, I always, I always thought about the Eucharist. But I must tell you that I did not always believe in my heart that the Eucharist was Jesus. It wasn't until I think it was in my mid to late 20s I went to a retreat, a Youth 2000 retreat in here in Trinidad and Tobago. Part of the retreat, the priest walks around in procession with the Blessed Sacrament, Jesus. And it was there and then I recognized that this really is Jesus, the Son of God. Because there was a man there in the crowd, he was in the schoolyard while the priest was walking around with Jesus. And as the priest grew closer to him, he started acting up and saying all sorts of strange things. And as the priest got within 10 feet of him, he took off in a sprint. He took off in a sprint, not even using Bolt could have caught him. And he just ran and ran and ran. And that made something click in me. That made me realize, hold on, this is not just an ordinary wafer. You know, and this is not just in my head, Jesus, but in my heart. This is Jesus, the Son of God. Many of us struggle with recognizing Jesus in the Eucharist. And some of you may even be asking, but what does the Eucharist have to do with Advent preparation? Well, sisters, brothers, it has every single thing to do with Advent preparation. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had a aha moment where you were struggling to figure out something and then all of a sudden the lights went on, came on, and you found the answer? Have you ever experienced that? Jesus is always the answer to all of our issues, all of our questions. And he presents himself in the Eucharist as the answer. Almost everyone I know, in fact, fact, I'm sure all of you who are listening to this or viewing this podcast, all of you want to go to heaven. But going to heaven is not as easy as jumping in your car, bouncing the starter and driving. It is a difficult thing. The road to heaven is rough. It is difficult. It can seem absolutely impossible at times. But then Jesus says this. He says, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give you is my flesh 
for the life of the world. Aha! Bingo! That is the answer. That is the answer for us journeying to eternal life. Jesus is. And he gives himself to us in the form of the Holy Eucharist. In the same way that an athlete would eat the right food to provide the sustenance that they need to be at their best when they are competing, so too do we need the right food for our souls as we wait on the Lord, as we prepare for His coming at Christmas, as we prepare for His coming, the second coming at the end of time. The Eucharist provides us with that spiritual nourishment that we need for this journey. The Eucharist gives us the sustenance that we need. St. Paul speaks in his writings and his letters a lot about the flesh as being that part in us that where sin, where sin um, abounds, where sin resides. We see in Romans chapter 7 verse 14 where he speaks, he starts to speak about that struggle, that inner struggle where he has a challenge, he has difficulties doing the right thing. The things he don't want to do are the things that he does. And the things that he truly de desires deep in his heart to do, he has a problem doing it. It is the Eucharist that gives us the strength to conquer that inner self, that inner sinful self, that inner flesh that constantly brings us down. Jesus gives himself to us. He gives himself to us in the Eucharist so that this food can enter into our sinful bodies and be a form of victory, provide the victory that we need, provide the sustenance that we need, provide the grace that we need to be what we were created to be. The Eucharist provides us with the grace to shut down the sin factory that dwells in within us. The Eucharist provides us with the grace to shut down the same sin factory that St. Paul writes about, that St. Paul spoke about in his letters. The Eucharist is a super food for our souls. Not too long ago, there, were, there was always some new superfood that was breaking into the market and with the promise to do so many incredible things for us health-wise. Many of them fell short of what they promised. The Eucharist, on the other hand, is a superfood, the superfood for our souls that will help us into eternal life. And this will live up to all expectations. All that is required is for us to cooperate with God. God's desire is that all of us would be saved through Jesus Christ, his Son, and come to the full knowledge of God. That is God's desire. So he has given us the greatest hack to eternal life. You know, you would see on, on online and on the YouTube or wherever else, use this hack for this, use this hack for that. God has given us 
the greatest hack for eternal life and that is his son Jesus Christ who not only died on the cross for us but who gives himself to us as food as food for our souls as food for the journey sisters and brothers as we journey as we continue through advent preparing for the coming of Christ preparing for his coming at Christmas preparing for his coming his second coming at the end of time when he will judge all based on what how we lived Jesus gives himself to us he gives himself to us as food for the journey to grant us so that we can have the grace that we need so that when that time comes when that second coming comes by the grace of God through Jesus Christ we can hear God say to us well done faithful servants enter into my heavenly kingdom the Eucharist is the greatest gift that we have been given and that will help us to journey through this Advent season. I beg you, I urge you to make use of this gift. Do not let this Advent go by without allowing your hearts to be open to this wonderful gift of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Attend Mass. Go to Mass. Not only on a weekend, but I encourage you to go to Mass as often as you can and be open to all that God desires of you.